What's up guys, this is Julius again from Ojas Web Digital Solution. In this video, I want to show you how to track Facebook event on your sales page. I know a lot of people use sales page to sell their product or services. And in this video, I want to show you how to track some actions that is happening on your sales page. For instance, if you have sales page that encourage people to click on button to chat with you on WhatsApp or Facebook or to visit another page, you might want to track the numbers of people that actually interact with that button or your sales page. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to use one of my live sales pages. This is a page on my website. And one of the things I want people to do when they visit this page is to click on this button to chat with me on WhatsApp. So I want to know how many people are actually clicking on this button to chat with me on WhatsApp if I'm advertising this offer on Facebook. So now I want to go ahead and configure event tracking for this particular page. And with that, I'll be able to know the numbers of people that click on that button and I will be able to count it as conversion. So right now on my business manager, I will go ahead and click on this button. After clicking on this button, I will select all two. From all two, I want to go to event manager and I'm interested in clicking on pixels. So right now I click on pixels and I will allow the page to load. On my event manager, I have a couple of accounts in my business manager. So I want to select the particular account I want to use for this purpose. So I will go ahead and click on this drop down. After clicking the drop down, I will go ahead and select the account I want to use. So I select my personal ad account. Now I will allow this page to load. Now I can see my data source. I have one data source on this particular page. I will go ahead and click on that particular data source. So the next thing I want to do now is I want to click on settings and that is where I will go ahead to configure event for this particular sales page. So I will go ahead and click on the setting and after clicking on the setting, I'm interested in using the setup tool and this is it go to event setup tool i click on go to event setup tool and the pop-up comes up so i'm gonna copy the url and this is the particular url i want to track i will paste it here and i want to see what happened so i paste the url and i open the website now facebook take me directly to the website after opening the website i come back to this particular event manager and i want to see what happened now I'll give it a time for Facebook to load the page and give me the feedback. The result is out. We didn't find a Facebook pixel on this website. And what this tells you is that I have not started tracking anything from Facebook on this particular sales page. Now I want to go ahead and start tracking event on that particular page. And the first thing I will do is I will install Facebook pixel on that page. And how do I do that? I will close this and I will click on this small drop down arrow setup and I, I want to click on install pixel. So this comes up and I will check manually install pixel. The next thing I want to do is I want to copy the code. I copy the code and I will head over to the sales page. So I'll click on edit. By the way, this sales page was built with Insta Builder on WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and click on launch ib 2.0 editor i want to install the pixel and the pixel should be installed at the header of the page so i'll go ahead and click on this button and the next thing i want to click on is script and codes so i want to install the pixel on the head section so i'll paste the code here and i will save it the pixel has been installed on this page and i will click on save now that i save the page I will go back to Facebook Pixel and I will still go back to test that particular setting to see if it is configured correctly or not. So I will click on the go to event setup to again and I will paste the URL of that page. So the URL of that page, let me copy it again, is this. So I copy the URL, then I paste it here and I test it. Now it opens, I'll come back here to see. Now Facebook say you are connected to this URL, which means the pixel has been installed correctly. And the next thing I will want to do now is I will want to set up event tracking for this particular page. So watch out and see how I go ahead and set up event tracking for the page. So I will go back now and click on the event setup tool. So I click on this. And I will paste the URL again and show you exactly how I will set up the 
event. So I paste the URL and I click on open. Now the page has been opened. Right now on the page, as you can see, a small box open toward the top left hand side. And what you're seeing there is Facebook event setup. What you're seeing now is I have a lead setup. And this is because I've already created an event for another page using the same text. Click here to chat on WhatsApp. And that is why you can see this small funnel and the confirmation icon. So if I don't want to use this, I can click on delete this option and use the track new button. But I'm fine with this one. So I will just go ahead and click this. Now, immediately I click that, you see Facebook highlighted some buttons. And when I click any of these particular options, you see Facebook shows that I can set up my event tracking for this particular button. And on the left hand side, if I select the drop down, you see there are different options here. Even if you're tracking sales, whatever you want to track, you can use this method to track it. But for this particular purpose, I want to track the lead. And that is why I will just click on the button I want to track and I will finish the setup. But as you can see, I've already set up this, so I don't need to do anything again. I will just click on finish. If you want to read the process, you can go ahead and read the process. I'm okay with this and I'm done with the setting. I will go ahead and close this. That is how you can go ahead and track Facebook event on your sales page. And I believe this process is very easy and will be helpful for you to track your conversions if you are running advertisement on Facebook. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the video, feel free to give us a thumb up and share it with your friends or family. And don't forget to comment your questions on the comment section. Thanks for watching the video and bye for now.